One of the most common questions I've had regarding building a crystal radio is, can I change the coil? And that's a really good question. The answer is yes, but you know, we'll talk about uh, the plus and minus of making those changes. This particular coil is roughly two inches and just a piece of PVC. Uh, it comes with a certain amount of inductance. This one runs from uh, roughly 519 to 631 and there's built-in capacitance in the uh, coil and there's also built-in capacitance in these newer piezoelectric earphones. Uh, that's one of the reasons we don't need the capacitor here anymore. In the older sets they would have a capacitor here because the crystal earphones were of a different style which did not have the capacitance. Okay, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about the inductance and the capacitance and what we get for resonance uh, and how that's going to affect the frequency range of our radio. So in other words, we need to keep it within the AM band. Okay, so let's do that. Two of my favorite tools are this, one of them is this ElectroDock and the other is LC Circuit. They're both available from Google Play Store. They're both free. And uh, yeah, let's open them up and see what they'll do for us. The first one's ElectroDock. And if we scan down here a little bit, we have a, uh, an inductor design tool right here. So I'll open that up. And as you can see, it, uh, this is the length of the coil. They call it height. That's fine. Same thing. Uh, the diameter and, and the number of turns. So uh, these are the numbers for the coil I just showed you. Uh, it's about 50 millimeters wide, 2 inches. Uh, the height or the length in my case is about 7 inches. This is a little bit off, but okay. And then the number of turns is 170. And if we look down here, the inductance is in the range of, you know, middle 500s, 550, something like that, which is about right for this coil. So, yeah, um, it gives us uh, 550 microhenries. Okay, so yeah, this is very simple to use. You can open it up and enter the values, uh, and that's it. It tells you how many microhenries. Um, and on, typically on these coils, depending on the capacitance involved, and we'll look at that in a second, then you get uh, the, uh, a value of microhenries that's in the range of roughly 5 to 600, 5 to 700, and that covers the AM band given the right amount of capacitance. Again, let's go look at that. Okay, so that's what, that's what I use out of this application. Let's go look at the other one. Let's open up LC circuit. And it opens up here to the circuit, and then we go over here to resonant frequency, and we'll select uh, microhenries. And uh, our coil was 550, so we'll say 551. That's uh, okay. Microfarads? No, I don't think so. Picofarads? And we'll say uh, let's start out at 100 picofarads because that's not very much. You remember, you have to take into account the capacitance of the coil and your earphone and we'll hit calculate and this puts us uh, 678 kilohertz this uh, would put us down towards the bottom of the AM band which you know that's okay um, and by removing capacitance uh, yeah this would put us up near the top well no closer to the top let's see a little bit more yeah, and this would actually put us slightly outside of the uh, AM band. So there, right about there. So 20 picofarads and 551 microhenries of inductance. That would put us towards the top of the AM band. So you can see by playing with this and by the with the other uh, application we looked at, you can design your own coil. You can set up the parameters. Once you have the number of microhenries from the other application, you can plug it in here. You can determine how much capacitance. As you can see, a little change in capacitance, a little change of inductance makes a huge change in the resonant frequency of the circuit. So in other words, what band the, the coil is going to cover. Yeah, so you can, uh, with these two very simple applications, you can design your own coils. You can uh, determine before you even build them how, what range they're going to cover, what frequency range they're going to cover. So yeah, these are two of my favorite things to play with. Um, you can do a whole lot with them. You can do a lot of what if questions, answer a lot of what if questions for yourself. 
Okay, well that was it for my two favorite applications for designing crystal radio and other resonant coils. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your home electronic experimentation.